Moving on to another big story of the day. After Prime Minister Narendra Modi's West Asia outreach, India is now set to host President Hassan Rouhani of Iran. Connectivity and energy security will be high on the agenda as Prime Minister Modi holds talks with Rouhani over the weekend. Why is the latest visit significant and what does India hope to achieve from it? Vyond Ramesh Ramachandran reports. Right, uh, we'll get to that report later. Let's also tell you about uh, Iranian president's itinerary over the weekend. Now, most world leaders who visited India in recent years chose to begin their visit outside national capital, New Delhi. President Hassan Rouhani is uh, no different. Uh, his uh, three-day state visit to India begins in Hyderabad, the capital of India's youngest state, Telangana. Hyderabad is steeped in history with an unmistakable Persian touch, of course. The foundation of the more than 300-year-old Makkah Masjid, where Rouhani addresses a congregation, was laid by the Qutub Shahi rulers of Iranian descent. Indian Foreign Ministry says President Rouhani will be accorded a ceremonial reception on Saturday. The foreign ministry spokesperson said uh, that during the forthcoming visit of the president of uh, Iran, both sides would review the progress achieved in bilateral relations and also exchange views on regional and international issues of mutual interest. Rouhani uh, will reach New Delhi after concluding his engagements in Hyderabad. In the capital, he'll meet uh, with the president Ram Nath Kobind and hold talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And CIS countries and also those in the east of Rouhani. Moving on, uh, these last six months have been the coming of age of India's West Asia diplomacy and exchange by the Indian and Israeli Prime Ministers. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Palestine and the upcoming visit of Iranian President Hassan Rouhani. And with each visit, India has managed to step over numerous fault lines in the region. In July 2017, Narendra Modi became the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Israel and thus began the modi bb bromance that translated into deeper ties between the two countries. From collaborating in the supply and uh, manufacturing of sophisticated defense equipment to working together in the innovation and cyber security space, India and Israel have come a long way. And it only took six months for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to reciprocate and visit India. Such deep ties with Israel command a balancing act of sorts. So last week, Prime Minister Modi went to Palestine. A visit to this country has little to do with the usual bilateral exchanges of purchasing arms and boosting trade ties. It's more about sending a message that India will de-hyphenate ties between Palestine and Israel. And for New Delhi, it's also an opportunity to emerge as a potential peace broker between the countries in West Asia. After all, with US President Donald Trump recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, America can no longer claim the position of an impartial mediator. It never was to begin with. But now the Palestinians reject their mediation. India emerges as a viable alternative. This strategic majority is only bolstering India's case. Five days after visiting Ramallah and calling Yasser Arafat one of the world's greatest leaders, Prime Minister Modi will host one of Israel's biggest enemies, if not the biggest now, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani. Even while Iran has been slapped with international sanctions, India retains robust trade ties with the country. Iran is India's fourth largest oil supplier, but the relationship has not been without tensions. And the elephant in the room is the pressure on Iran from Washington to abandon its nuclear plans. On this tricky issue too, India has its bases covered. Prime Minister Modi and the U.S. President Donald Trump have struck an unlikely friendship. After the Indian Prime Minister's visit to Washington last year, the first daughter came to India and ties between the two countries have only deepened since then. Trump has appointed Indian origin men and women in key government posts and toned down threats against H-1B visa holders. This flurry of visits in under one year is a reflection of Prime Minister Modi's foreign policy. For the benefit of India, he is able to deal individually with different countries, even if they are at loggerheads with each other.